who are you? How did you develop this concept? How did it come about? Well, there's so much to tell you. Um, how did I develop the concept? I think the main thing was I was just sick of seeing patients that were sick. You know? they'd, they'd have these mystery diseases uh, for a long time. They'd see many doctors, but they just weren't getting better. And for me, that was, that was a reason to look into why not. Um, because the patients, they were seeing good doctors, so it wasn't you know, bad medicine. There was just something wrong with the system that wasn't allowing them to get better. They'd come, you know, they'd have pages and pages of diagnostics that they've been through. They'd have, as you say, a hundred different supplements that they're on. And it's like, why isn't this working for them? You know, we've got to change something. So I looked into what factors I could change, basically. And the first thing I did is really just take medicine out of the doctor's office. I thought, these poor people, they've been sick for so long, they, they get into this routine, they go to the doctor, they wait an hour in the waiting room, they know they have five minutes to speak to the doctor, they're nervous, and, and then they, those five minutes they have to explain like 20 years of their past life. And yes. It's just, it's, it's just a horrible situation for patients. And I know, for me, as a patient going to a doctor, I feel the same way too. I'm just nervous, I'm just not quite sure, you know, it takes Absolutely. a while to get your thoughts together. So I thought, if we could just calm everybody down, that might actually help. And then there's another side too, as a doctor, the whole day seeing patients in five or ten minute you know, routine, it's boring. Yeah? And so that affects me as well, that affects how, how do I, how, you know, I, do I really want to sit here and listen to this? You know, I've, I've heard it 20 times today already and it's like, ah. Oh. So the idea was just to change all of that because that puts us on a whole different footing, basically. Yeah? So we, we, took doctors, uh, we took medicine <laughs> out of the doctor's office and put it into a spa-like ambience. And I found for me, that was wonderful. It was so relaxed just to work like that. And for my patients, it, it put us on a different level. Now we were on the same level. So I kind of broke down these typical doctor-patient roles. But how did you find or create this machine? And how long did you test it? How did you know it worked? How did that come about? Oh, the diagnostic machine. Yes. Yeah. Well, I didn't actually create that machine. Um, that machine is called Global Diagnostics. Um, and uh, it uses a system that was developed by, by a physicist. Um, I was very interested in his work and I followed it for a long time. I think about eight, nine years ago his machine came out and so I, I just started to use it and test it and, and see how it worked. Um, it's called vital field therapy. Um, so what it basically does is the machine puts a very low current into your body and uh, it changes the, the amplitude and the frequency of that current and can see how your body itself is utilizing energy. Okay. So you can see how the organs are, you know, if they're doing repair work or they're they're trying to do repair, but it's not getting resolved, and you see a lot of energy is being used there. So it measures over a million points in your body, and, and we can see that on all the graphs, exactly kind of what's going on. Yes, I was really impressed with seeing the graphs, right. <laughs> telling your really um, cholesterol, fat percentage, everything. Right, yeah. Uh, and it's a great show and tell, I must say, yes. for patients, because they can understand it too. Once I start to get it's into very clear. Uh, to explaining, it's very clear for the patient, yeah. It's a nice thing too because we can see areas where maybe the body has just got into a state where it's just blocked. You know, it's not, not, not getting better, not getting worse, it's just stagnant. Yeah? And unfortunately that's, that's a situation that many patients find themselves in. You know, so how do you treat...